I can't believe he just did that, bro. He needs to be locked up for life. Oh my God, we need to literally just shame him for the rest of his life. Three hours. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. It's no way whales should be allowed to be doctors. <laughs> Wow, he must be dead. Are you dead, sir? You walk in, you see a pig, you don't, bro. How are you supposed to take that serious? Like, oh boy, it's one of these. <laughs> Yo, what would you do if you were to ever find yourself in this situation, bro? And y'all know exactly what I'm talking about off of the title and thumbnail. I don't know what I'm gonna title this, but y'all know what I'm saying is. How would you react if you were out in the public setting, a gym or anywhere, right? You're just existing and moving on and going on about your business, right? Next thing you know, you hop on social media the next day, you open Twitter, you open TikTok, whatever y'all use, bro. And you see a video of a girl literally shaming and harassing and trying to expose you for just existing. <laughs> Because that's exactly what we're taking a look at today. This isn't the first time we've seen this behavior, but every single time it, it surprises me and it's never not taking me back, if that makes sense. It's mind blowing that some girls will do this, bro. Literally record themselves in public and find any man existing with a ten, within like a 10 meter radius and it, try to expose him as a creep or whatever because that's exactly what we're taking a look at today and with that being said let's just get into it man listen if you're new here and you don't know bro we're on the summer marathon so all you're gonna get from me is some good content so if you watch this through and you enjoy it sub up and join us and to everybody else and to my late night squad make sure y'all run up the likes bro and let's take a look at this man she captioned it saying, I tried to stay composed. Did I succeed? Question mark. All right, let's see what crime this man committed. Pause right there. So this old man right here committed the horrendous crime i can't believe he just did that bro he needs to be locked up for life oh my god we need to literally just shame him for the rest of his life for wanting to enter an elevator that's his crime <laughs> his crime is being a man walking into the elevator at this moment while she's shooting her tiktok instagram photo sh whatever this bullshit is bro why are you recording yourself getting off the elevator let's put the entire video look Let's focus on that part. First of all, it's definitely going to be blurred for y'all, bro. And y'all know why I blur some of these women out, bro. She's dressed like a huz. Super tight dress and all, bro. Question is, why are you dressed like this walking outside in public and having somebody record you getting off the elevator? That shows exactly what you're up to. It shows exactly what kind of person you are. And it shows what kind of intentions you have, right? But let's focus on the main point. She said, what the F? And saying that she tried to stay composed. Did I succeed at what? what is this about a man walking into the elevator what crime did he commit i mean was she expecting him to gouge his eyeballs out and not look at his his path in front of him <laughs> this is in, this is literally mental illness bro let's finish the video i mean wow what a crazy crime that man committed listen in all seriousness bro it's a sick world we live in, y'all. It really is. That old man is now being painted as a creep, as a weirdo, as a disgusting human being for doing nothing wrong, right? In all seriousness. And the best thing about making these videos, bro, is I love to see the backfire. Sometimes it's good to be a hateful person when it's directed at the right people, bro. When it's somebody doing some bullshit like this, they deserve all the hate they get. And I love to see it. I live for it, bro. I like to see the backlash, rightfully so, when this stuff happens. Even though I wish this stuff doesn't even happen in the first place, bro. But you put this man on this video. You try to expose him in front of your, your audience. You try to go viral and act pretty on camera while accusing an innocent man of nothing, literally. You deserve all the hate and backlash you get for being what you are, bro. A weirdo you're a sick weirdo that's what you are y'all gotta understand that some of y'all might be like all right bro it's not that serious it's just a bit nah bro put yourself in that old man's shoes he probably does not know what tiktok is what the internet really he, he heard of it but he doesn't know what it is bro next thing you know he wakes up in the morning and yo you never know bro some of these crazy huzz are literally insane 
It might cause him to get fired from his job. Like when you put a video out to the internet and it gets a lot of views and you're accusing a man of something so creepy and weird, but he obviously didn't do. And if you don't know what, what, I'm, what I'm saying is she's, she's basically hinting that he looked at her, bro. That's his crime, right? What I'm saying is though, the video is that serious. You could potentially get that man fired. You, should, you could potentially get that man, even just the internet aspect of it, bro, being painted as that. It's not funny and it's not a joke. That's why you deserve all of the backlash that you get. And you really just have to be a weird ass hus, bro, to go out wearing that and recording yourself in public trying to falsely accuse men of being creeps when they're simply existing, bro. It's, it's just weird. It really is. And Every time I take a look at one of these videos, like at least the gym ones, right? At least the ones at the gym, it's like in a gym. It's like in an, in an environment where you could have an excuse as to why you're recording. But in this video, you're recording yourself walking off an elevator. Why are you recording yourself? <laughs> Obviously for attention. And then you supposedly get upset to the point where you can't compose yourself when you get the attention you're looking for but in this case you didn't even get attention the man didn't even look at you and you still tried to accuse him of something I'm telling y'all bro it's a crazy world we live in bro it really is and i'm gonna ask you that question one more time what would you do in this situation god forbid if you woke up <laughs> bro if you woke up <laughs> if you woke up and found yourself in one of these videos how would you react seriously i'm telling y'all these Anyways, let me know what y'all think about this. We got a lot of other crazy content to take a look at. And the second one is something about, it's titled, The Doctor Curses at This High School Student for Having an Extreme Anxiety Attack. What? Shut up. Shut up. Dude, shut, up. Can't. shut up. I'm having you shut up. I can't get up. Collapsing during basketball practice Monday after waiting more than three hours. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all, bro. It's no way whales should be allowed to be doctors. I'm going to be the one that says it, bro. Y'all know I don't care how people feel about what I say. But if you are overweight or obese, you don't belong in the hospital. Technically, you do, but on the other end, not the end that's supposed to be giving people care, bro. If you walk into a hospital and you see a doctor that clearly looks physically unhealthy, why in the hell would you sit here and listen to anything they have to say regarding your health? And I know some dork is going to get in my comments talking about they went to school for eight years to study. OK, why didn't they implement the goddamn stuff they learned into their own life? Why are they fat, bro? You got to keep it real with people, man. Why is this the doctor? Before I get too crazy on that point, let's watch the video, bro. Monday, after waiting more than three hours to be seen. I'm sorry, sir, you were the least sick of all the people who are here who are dying. He says he told the doctor he was numb, in extreme pain, and having trouble breathing. I just tried to inhale, and I even told her I could not inhale. <laughs> he, he can't inhale, wow, he must be dead. Are you dead, sir? I don't understand, you are breathing just I mean, this fine. is not... This Bardwell tells ABC from there the tension... <sighs> I'm not even focused on the situation, y'all. I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm just bamboozled at how downright insane this society has gotten, man, to the point where this is somebody's doctor. Why is somebody who is clearly ultra unhealthy supposed to supervise people over their health? Imagine taking, I'm not even, I'm not even laughing. I'm not even trying to bully this, I'm not even trying to attack this person. Y'all, y'all gotta understand this platform is soft, bro. I'm just being honest. I'm asking questions, right? Look at this individual in front of your screen and please answer me in the comments. Would you listen to this person if they were your health provider, bro? If this person, if you went to the hospital to get checked out for something, right? Would you take advice from this person right here regarding your health? Do they look like a healthy doctor that knows exactly what they're talking about. I'm gonna leave it at that, bro. God damn it, I miss my toxic self. <laughs> With Dr. Beth Keegstra escalated unprovoked. No, you have changed your story every time. Yeah, bro, it's just unlucky, man. I don't know what to tell you. You got the worst doctor of all time in all ways. Um, literally every single way you put it, this is the worst doctor, bro. And like I said, I, I, I really don't understand. I mean, I've seen some bad doctors in like real life, but it's never gotten to this point. 
like yeah bro some doctors you might see are a little bit overweight they're not like goddamn bodybuilders but they still look moderately healthy somebody you would kind of listen to some of them actually look very healthy bro y'all gotta understand that we're humans at the end of the day bro you look at somebody in front of you who's been taking care of themselves you respect them and you value their opinion you walk in you see a pig you don't bro how are you supposed to take that serious like anyways <laughs> enough of that bro y'all can let me know what y'all think about that and uh we got one last video to take a look at, and this one's something about a girl getting pulled over. Let's go. You got your license, registration, proof of insurance. You don't have to have a license to drive a car. Yes, yeah, she, yes, she did. You do not. I know my rights. What rights oh, is that? Wow. I, I do not have to have her driver's license to drive a car. I am not. This is not a commercial vehicle. Okay. I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Okay. Yeah, I mean, wow, that's just superb logic. Uh, this is the first time I've heard of such a philosopher and genius and outright mathematician, bro. This is the greatest scholar of our time. Put her on, bro, she needs to teach. She needs to be the president. Nah, she needs to be the World Economic Forum leader, bro. She needs to be up there. She needs to be the president of, this is the smartest individual alive. This is literally the smartest human in history. Listen to this smart girl, bro. I mean, this is beyond smart. She's just a house of knowledge. Wow. I don't need a driver's license to drive my car. Why? Because I'm not driving. I'm traveling. Just insanely smart. Wow. I have all the laws back here. Okay. So you're not going to give me a driver's license? I'm not going to give you a driver's license. I don't have to give you a driver's license. Okay. I'm, I'm traveling. I don't, I don't have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Okay. And what state is that? any state it's common law natural law okay constitutional law okay mm -hmm. surprise Speed turn the vehicle up. off and get out of the car i mean she just chose a bunch of words put them up together into a cocktail and just threw them at the officers constitutional law natural law nature law tornado law that's you know, it's is 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 the commonwealth law bro it's the brexit law i don't even know what that stuff means but i'm gonna just say it because it sounds perfect i gotta give her an a for effort <laughs> Out of the car now. Turn around. I do not have to have a driver's license to drive a vehicle. Yes, you do. No, I do not. Well, then you can tell that to the judge if you end up going to jail. You don't care about the laws. You don't care about our rights. Excuse me? You call somebody for Santa Rosa County Jail. You're under arrest. I, I mean, this is actually genuinely scary, bro, because I don't think she's joking or being sarcastic. This girl genuinely believes what she said, bro. That's the voice and the tone of somebody who genuinely believes what, just, what they just said, bro. I, I aspire to be this level of delusional, man. I mean, how do you how do you convince yourself that you're right when you say such bullshit? That is literally awe-inspiring delusion. I, wow. And that's a good way to end off the video, man. Let me know what y'all think about this and let me know what y'all think about the whole video in general, bro. This is a good one. I appreciate y'all for being here as always and take care of yourselves, man. If you haven't joined the Patreon, it's the best way to support the channel and I'll see y'all in the next one. The summer marathon continues. I'm out.